Yo, 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 what's up? You're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day, and today we'll be bringing you hacker gameplay. We're gonna be spectating a hacker. Look, I was doing my thing, running around getting my kills, trying to pull up a, a, a high kill game, and then this guy right here just comes rocking up to me. He killed me earlier in the game, and I thought it was very, very sus, but give him the benefit of the doubt. But then when we got to the third circle and there was only 13 people remaining i knew something was wrong and then shortly after knowing something was wrong this guy rolls up and he's just he's hacking he's not even doing he's not even trying to hide it is what i'm trying to get at. i can't even think i've been running the hacker so much lately that it's been blowing my mind but I, i'll say this he was very entertaining with it i i do not uh believe People should hack or cheat, uh, you know, to be more politically correct. But um, I've, I've seen several uh, cheaters in the game when I've been playing, especially lately, uh, definitely especially lately. And they're just, they're not dropping very many kills, you know. This guy, though, 36 kills as of right now, but he drops a banger, all right? He drops a heater, but he's cheating, so... I don't know. This guy could actually be really good at the game, I believe. If even if he didn't cheat, he just just one of those people that don't want to put the time in to to get better. Uh, maybe I'm wrong because he's definitely using wall hacks and aimbot. Maybe he wouldn't be as good, but his movement seems to be pretty decent. Um, unfortunately, when I was playing this game, my my mic messed up. Uh, and I, I couldn't use the gameplay there, so that's why I'm recording over and I'm watching it with you guys. But I do love that camo. I really do. Watch it. Like, he just knows where people's at. Like, I don't even know how far out he has his hacks or how far you can see with the aimbot. Um, I wouldn't have said aimbot. Well, you, how, how, how effective it is at certain ranges, but how far he can see with his wall hacks. Like... If you have wall hacks, are you seeing people like all over the map, or is it only within or in a certain range, like a UAV, or like I, I'm I'm I don't understand how that works because I will imagine it's only like a certain range. Otherwise, like when you spawn in, you're seeing 150 people. You know, I feel like that would just be annoying. But he's just lasering people. Like he knows this guy's here. He's got 15 people watching him. Uh. And this is exactly why they need an anti-cheat. More people scream about that than anything else in Call of Duty now. Which is crazy because the number one thing we used to scream about was skill-based matchmaking. But this is so overbearing now with how many cheaters slash hackers there is in the game that no one really even complains about skill-based matchmaking anymore. Just because there's so many hackers slash cheaters that run around in this game. And it is just annoying to say the least because if there was an anti-cheat he would be banned like he, i don't think he would get more than two games in uh and call of duty activision listen raven raven studios you guys have the money for it why don't we gotta why don't we got anti-cheat tim the tap man um, a lot of you guys if you're watching me you definitely watch him right because he's a lot bigger than me um his theory is that it brings in more money if they let the cheaters be here because now, now we're sitting here talking about it. You know, we're bringing it to light. But you, sometimes you got to bring it to light. Hopefully, to get it fixed. Hopefully, this guy gets banned. But this is just beyond unfair. Like, and the thing that aggravates me is whenever you see a cheater. Like last night when I was streaming, at the time of making this video, it was last night. About this cheater that I was watching, and he was sitting there taunting. He only had 15 kills, but. It was very clear. Don't worry, that video will be coming out. It was very clear that he was cheating. And, and he was taunting everybody that was watching him. And it was like, dude, you take away the hacks. All right? You take away the hacks. You, you're you not doing anything. All right? So, there ain't no point of taunting. That's just, you just, you're god-awful at the game. All right? The only reason you got your double-digit kills is because you know people are. You got aimbot. You got hacks. This guy's dropping 40-plus kills. All right? And he's not bashful with it. Like, he's in a vehicle pushing people. 
the uh, most people who cheat slash hack they they're not pushing people in a vehicle at least in my experience uh, are you guys running into hackers where they're they're being very aggressive or are they camping you know like they're just holding on a spot that's something I'm kind of curious about because in my experience and my buddy's experience when I play with Trask we every time we run into one they're just they're, they're just being very conservative with it and I'm like if you're going to be cheating if you're going to take the risk of being banned you might as well go ahead and push and get as many kills as you can because you're going to be restarting your account anyways. What's the point of trying to like hide it when it's, it's obvious when someone's cheating? You know what I mean? So, uh, but that's going to be uh, doing it for this game. But I believe it gets, yeah, I think it's one more kill. Yeah, 47 kills for a win. And solos. That's regular solos, boys. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one.